Welcome to Dublin Port Company's Master Plan, a vision and framework for the long-term development of Ireland's largest and busiest port. Here we take a look at some of the potential projects and outcomes of the Master Plan for Dublin Port, the economy, the City of Dublin and its citizens. Dublin Port's role in the development of Dublin City dates back over at least 300 years. The North Bull Wall and Great South Wall are fine examples of the port's legacy to the city. With the growth of mercantile trade in the capital, the city spread eastwards. Growth in containerized trade saw the port's operations move further to the port's current location at the mouth of Dublin Bay. The regeneration of the Docklands in recent years has brought Dubliners closer to the port again. Today, Dublin Port is the primary entrance point for the people, goods and materials upon which we rely for business, tourism and economic growth. Even at a modest 2.5% annual growth, Dublin Port will double its throughput to handle 60 million tonnes by 2040. The figures speak for themselves. In 1981, we handled 7 million tonnes of goods. By 2007, trade had grown to 31 million tonnes. Today, we are handling 28 million tonnes with a value of 35 billion euro. There has been no basic infrastructure built in Dublin Port since the 1970s. We are committed to making the most efficient use of our existing land. For example, we've already identified a new area for car storage near East Wall Road to free up more valuable quayside space. In addition, we can cater for low low container growth over the next 30 years and postpone larger projects such as land reclamation for the time being. Rethinking our road network, consolidating access and exit routes and a common check-in at the ferry terminals are just some of the other options open to us. Having used our current footprint, there will still be scope to increase capacity at Dublin Port by land reclamation. However, any projects involving land reclamation would only be advanced as and when necessary. Roro Freight will remain the largest component of Dublin Port's traffic to 2040, so we face a challenge to provide sufficient land to facilitate this trade competitively. Creating longer, deeper berths for modern vessels could be required. Over 135,000 cruise passengers contribute between 35 and 50 million euro annually to the local economy. Our proximity to Dublin Airport means we're well placed to attract new turnaround cruises and become a world-class cruise tourism destination. A new cruise ship terminal would provide thousands of passengers with a welcome arrival and easy access to the city away from the industrial workings in the heart of the port. With dedicated parking for coaches and taxis and the Lewis on our doorstep, the city's shops, bars, cafes and tourist attractions are just minutes away for passengers from all over the world to experience. Many of the goods handled at Dublin Port have their origin or destination within the M50 corridor. A port distribution centre would allow smaller vehicles to service the city's businesses in a greener, more efficient way. We are already the country's only port with a maintained direct rail connection to all major train stations in Ireland, taking 4,000 trucks off Irish roads every year. The master plan presents a real opportunity for Dublin Port to integrate with the city, its people and its natural and built environments. Dedicated walkways and cycle paths will promote public access to the port for leisure and recreation. Improved vantage points on the Great South Wall and North Bull Island will bring people closer to the port's activities and vessel movements, as well as the wildlife, birdlife and coastal scenery which form a vibrant natural habitat at Dublin Port. Maritime inspired art installations and softer port boundaries are just some of the other initiatives we can undertake to bridge the gap between the city and port, both aesthetically and physically for real community gain. 
As a national strategic asset, Dublin Port Company has the financial capacity to give Ireland the trading facilities it needs with a modern port infrastructure developed under this master plan. It means Ireland will be better placed for export-led recovery when the time comes.